Hello lovelies. So I don't know if any of you noticed, but I was very excited when I woke up this morning and I had an email that said I have 100 subscribers. So I figured I would combine telling all of you wonderful people thank you with talking about my goals for the next year because I've been trying to plan that video for a while and I was like, what do I want to be doing for that? Because I don't want to be a talking head. You guys are not here for my face. You're here for the resin and the crafting. And uh, what we're doing right now is giving you a lovely example of why I'm better at resin than drawing. But I don't really care because this is making me happy. And I'm playing with a ridiculous amount of glitter right now. Uh, so first of all, thank you so, so much to every single person who has hit the subscribe button so far. Because this is a milestone I didn't think I was going to hit for another couple of months. And yes, I'm probably doing this the worst possible way. It's making me happy, like I said. And sometimes that's what really matters when you're crafting, is making yourself happy. Um, so hitting 100 subscribers is like step one of the plan. Which, you know, okay, cool, that was already done. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop. I'm going to keep making videos, uh, creating content for you guys, seeing maybe I can hit 200. I've heard it speeds up after you hit 100. So it took me a little over a year to get 100 subscribers because I wasn't promoting super hard. Um, so a lot of my crafting goals uh, for 2012 are actually not related to crafts I have shown on the channel before. Um, I'm into quilting, which I generally, well, I keep it to myself, honestly. It, it's most of what I do is for business purposes and quilting is the craft that is for me. Um, so I've got some goals related to that. Um, uh, my quilt guild has this thing called block of the month and they take a volunteer every year who's responsible for creating patterns for blocks and uh, you can do a block a month and it's kind of cool and I want that job because it's creative and it looks fun and it means I don't think I have to sit through any of the board meetings because uh, board meetings no I'm, I'm self-employed for a reason um, so I'm hoping to put together a set of patterns for that I only have two colors of glitter I didn't plan this super well I guess but anyway two colors of glitter is enough to Keep me happy for now. Yes, it's all pink because, well, look at the huge jar I'm using. I had a huge jar of pink glitter. I've got to use it up on something. So I'm making myself my own 100 subscribers uh, placard because, you know, you see people who do the video of, yay, my placard arrived after I hit like 100,000. And I'm like, so I'm going to do that. Um, I am hoping to we'll just learn more resin tricks. Uh, so I've got more cool stuff to show off. I'm still working on the dice making. I haven't given that up, but um, I was seriously derailed from it while I was moving because moving, uh, but that's still absolutely on the to-do list. Um, I have gotten interested in my ball jointed dolls again. I'm probably going to do some videos with content related to the dolls. I've actually already ordered some stuff off of Wish, so that's likely to end up being a video because it's craft supplies related to dolls. Um, so I'll, you might get some box openings of doll related things, but for the most part I want to make things. And I've already established that if I'm teaching myself how to do something, the stress of trying to film it effectively basically ruins my concentration on the whole learning thing. I'm just going to keep decorating this because why not? Um, so, um, due to the fact that I, I, uh, have to teach myself how to do a bunch of things, I, I won't be filming it, but if you're following me on different social medias, I'll probably be posting it. Instagram is likely to get a lot of posts from me. Um, cause I mean, making doll stuff is like super photographable. Even if I can't uh, video the process, I can take pictures. Um, and um, yeah, I think that, that's kind of really my plans because I really do want to improve my editing skills and that's just not going to happen until I get a new computer. And I can't just go buy a new computer because if a computer is good enough to do a video on, then it is honestly more expensive because typically what I do when I need a computer uh, is like I was doing word processing. I was an English major in college. So when I was, uh, when I needed stuff, I just bought like the cheapest computer that had literally all the parts. Um, 
and I went from there. And if you're doing video editing, you need a much higher quality video card, which means a lot of the other bits of the computer also have to be higher quality. And until I can justify that expense, um, yeah, my video editing is not, not going to improve. Um, so my apologies for that to all of you who really want to see me improve on my video making, uh, just not in the cards until I can justify buying a much more expensive computer than I already have. On the other hand, if I really start rocking the dice making, if I really start rocking, um, if I end up just being like, oh my gosh, I love making things for my dolls and somehow I've really launched my business beyond normal with that. I mean, we'll see. I am planning, like I said, on making stuff for dolls. And since with dolls, it's about messing around and finding your aesthetic. I'm going to make extra. Like, I'm going to make eyes for my dolls for sure. And until I actually figure out what color I want, I'm probably going to make, I don't even know how many eyes that are, not the right color after I put it in the doll's head. And if you are into ball jointed dolls, you know exactly what I mean. And if you're not into ball jointed dolls, just trust me, it's a rambly, picky, art aesthetic thing. Um, I will clearly label any content related to dolls in case any of you lovely people have phobias about them. Um, and I think the other crafting I'm planning is like I need to finish some sewing projects. And again, that's personal stuff. I haven't been showing you guys any of it. Um, I have been I've been watching so many costume channels on YouTube. It's it's unhealthy how many costume channels I'm watching now. So costuming is going to happen, uh, but I don't expect to be giving you guys any great videos about that until I can properly edit. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of it. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you have any comments, feel free to post them down below. If you uh, want to do my Patreon, that's of course appreciated because that is helping fund towards me getting a new computer and many, many other craft supplies. Can you have too many craft supplies? I mean, you can have a house too small for your craft supplies, but can you have too many craft supplies? Oh, and I'm definitely going to be designing some more buttons and, and trying to just make a things on my tables for conventions look more interesting too. But um, button designing is really not interesting. Mostly it's using the delete key in Photoshop a lot. Um, by the way, if, if you are an artist, um, you probably already know this, but if you're not really much of an artist, the reason I can get away with doing even as much art as I do and having it look even remotely decent is because your willingness to erase either through uh, hotkeys on your computer or through using an actual eraser, depending on how you're working, your willingness to erase is super important to creating two-dimensional art. Um, anyway, I think I talked about my goals. I've, I've said a couple things here to force myself to like be accountable on them. I might ramble about them some more on Patreon, but given that you guys are here for resin unboxing boxing things for the most part, I don't see you guys really wanting to hear about my quilting, so I'll leave it to my patrons. Uh, if I'm wrong about that. If I suddenly start getting a lot of questions about it, if you guys are posting comments on YouTube, hey, I'll change my plans. That's cool. But for now, I think stuff about that's probably just going to go to my Patreons because, um, eh, limited audience. So uh, thank you again to all of my many subscribers. Thank you to any friends who watch my videos because at this point I'm assuming your friends are family because 100 subscribers. I don't know that many. Do I know that many people? Facebook thinks I know that many people. Anyway, um, I do have internet. I've got Facebook, uh, Twitter that I constantly forget, uh, Instagram I'm trying to be better about. And of course, the Patreon and links to all of those are down below, as is a link to my Etsy shop. Uh, I love you guys. Thank you so much for helping me get going on this. And I will see you.